White House today joined in the chorus of elected officials who are charging that the Trump campaign somehow benefited from influence by the Russian government during the campaign. The Russians are not our friends. They invaded Crimea. Senator McCain and I and some of our Democratic friends met with a delegation from the Baltic countries uh, just this past week to say that they're nervous about the Russians, to put it mildly. Vladimir Putin is a thug, a bully, and a murderer. And anybody else who describes him as anything else is lying. This is a form of warfare. For him to be trying to impact our elections, he has to be held accountable. Is this something of a national emergency? It does feel like we're on the verge of something potentially awful. This simply cannot be a partisan issue. Wow, and if you thought that was intense, at least two House Democrats have now called on the Electoral College to overturn the election results because of interference from Vladimir Putin. Our next guest has not gone that far, but he does have concerns about Russian hacking around the election. Joining us now is Illinois Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger. Congressman, thanks for coming on. So there's a lot yeah, of uh, there's a lot of noise around this, and there's probably something at the core of it. Wouldn't shock me. They've hacked a lot of things around Washington and the Russians. But what is the core allegation about the election? How are the Russians supposed to have influenced the election results specifically for those of us following at home? Well, so here's the concern. We want to find out if they did hack. And if they did hack, there needs to be repercussions against them. What I find is interesting in the montage leading up to this is all these folks on the left that are now somehow aghast by, you know, and talking about how terrible Russia is and how Russia is not our friend are the same people that had this Russian reset under President Obama that gave Syria to Russia, that gave Eastern Europe and Ukraine and Georgia to Russia. You right. like look at this and say, wow, we hit an alternate universe. So I think we need to know if there was hacking. I think there needs to be uh, big, pro uh, big, I guess, punishments against the Russians if, in fact, they did. But that doesn't undermine the legitimacy of the fact that Donald Trump was elected president by a big majority of people. Well, it, dep it depends. He didn't win the majority, as you know, of voters. He won the majority of electoral votes, and it, do it would undermine the legitimacy of it. And, but I guess my question is, hack what? I mean, what is the core allegation? So as far as I understand, having followed the campaign pretty closely, the main revelation that came from hacking were John Podesta's emails. And they were gotten through a simple right. phishing scheme that you and I could have done. And I don't even think the intel community says the Russians did that necessarily. So what's the hacking we're talking about specifically? So the allegation is they hacked the DNC, they got the information, and then there was ways of which the intelligence community claims to have known, which nobody can go into, about how they released that to WikiLeaks, where WikiLeaks then metered it out, as we saw in the last two or three months, as an attempt to, in, to uh, embarrass the DNC, as an attempt to embarrass Hillary Clinton, and to influence. Now, maybe they did, wait, wait, maybe wait, they but, didn't. Wait, wait, but just, wait, just, wait, just to correct you, I, I, think, I think that information was from John Podesta's Gmail account, the daily leaks that were in uh, the papers or some of them every day through WikiLeaks? Of course. Okay, of so, course, of course. I mean, but people it, have a reasonable is, expectation of privacy at the same time. Well, I, and I would support that completely, and I don't want anyone to hack into my email. But it's, the allegation is not that John Pettis' email was hacked by the Russians, it was the DNC. And I don't remember information from that hack, whoever did it, influencing the election in any way. Maybe I missed it. Like, so how exactly did the Russians supposedly, or anybody, influence this election? I'm, I'm totally confused. Well, yeah, see, look, and here's, here's the point I'm trying to make, is I'm saying if, in fact, they attempted to, that's information that we need. Because guess what? You know, it may have affected or benefited or whatever. This is going to come back against the Republican Party in two years when yeah. it benefits Russia to do it or whatever. We can have nobody try to influence our election that way. Now, I don't think it undermines the legitimacy of Donald Trump. I think he was elected by a huge amount of electoral votes. We're going to see that come to fruition on Monday. Uh, but we do have to get to the bottom of if, in fact, the Russians attempted attempted to do it. And if the intelligence community says they do and we spend billions of dollars for them to come to these conclusions about national defense, we got to get to the bottom of this. The same intelligence community that didn't know Russia was about to invade Crimea, the same one that missed the fall of the Soviet Union, that one. Okay, but let me just, let me just ask you this yeah. really, 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 really quickly. The Russians, we think at this point, hacked the White House computer system in October of, I think it was 14, and put the whole system down for weeks at the White House. That's a, I mean, that's a big deal. I don't remember that being covered very closely in the press. Like, nobody seemed to care. Where was the outrage when that happened? I mean, that's a real thing. Hacking the White House computer system, we can agree, is bad. Why did nobody say anything then? I, look, I think we can all agree with all this. Anytime they hack anything on the institution of the United States, whether electoral or whether government, there needs to be problems. And this is something right. we have not taken seriously for a very long time. There's broader issues about why they didn't see them coming into, into Crimea, uh, but that's something that can't be discussed here. <laughs> 
I'm happy to discuss it. It's pretty lame if that's your job and you miss like everything, but whatever, sorry. I'm no, sure it also it also kind of has to do with there's reasons out there that you can't reveal on television. But you know, at the end of the day, we all should be on the side of saying we have to protect our, our systems here and we gotta get down to that. All right. Congressman, thanks all for joining us. I appreciate it.